Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef Seats. Today we're going to be making my fall favorite, Brussels and bacon. You know, a lot of people here at Brussels Sprouts and they go running for the hills, but with this combination of Brussels and bacon and maple syrup, we're going to be loving it for the holidays. And just like always, only thing we're going to need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. The first step I'd like to do is trimming up our bacon. This is actually applewood smoked bacon, which is going to cost a little bit more, but it's going to add a lot more additional flavor to it. If you can't get it, just go and get boar's head or any other bacon you like. Now, as you can see here, what we're doing is just simply slicing it into large chunks, also known as lardones. Lardone, large chunks of bacon. Now, after we finish chopping up our lardones, we're going to have to trim our Brussels sprouts. Now, quite simply, set it down and cut the very bottom of the stem off and cut it right in half. Just that easy. Look at these cute little fellows. <laughs> Let's zoom in, I'll show you how to do a little more. So, see, there's the very bottom. What we're going to have to do is just nip that off. There we are. And cut it in half. See? Just simple. Do this one more time. And just go through and do this to all of your Brussels sprouts. There we go. Cut the end off, fingers back, right in half. Now, there's going to be a few loose ends of the leaves on it. And what we're going to have to do now is just remove them. And they'll just quite simply fall right on off. You see this? It'll just peel on off. I'll give you a few demos on how it's done actually right here. So you grab the brussel and the leaf that's about to fall off. Just take it off. Now the only reason for this is that it's just going to be cleaner on our plate and it's going to be less mess of when we're going to blanch them in the water. There you are. Just set those aside. Pull off this. One after the other. Now that we're finished trimming our brussel sprouts, it's time to make time to clean the time. <laughs> So quite simply, grab it from the top and slide back. There we are, just like that. Now this is going to get the majority of the time off of it, but you're still going to have a little bit of residual left. So we're going to have to go through and pick it a little bit more, just like this. So you just pick it off and take the time to do it right. And you don't want to eat this stem. It's going to be very tough and very chewy, and it'll probably pick your gums. See that? It's pretty firm. Let's get rid of it. After the time, let's jump on some parsley. Just pick a few sprigs. There we are. Nice, beautiful sprigs. We're going to end up julienning these. This is going to be a cool little trick I want to show you. There we are. Set that aside. And put a layer of flat parsley on top of each other. And simply slide your knife back. And when you start getting a little more comfortable with the knife, you can start going a little quicker. And just rocking your knife back and forth. It's actually pretty fun when you get a hold of it. There we go. I'll show you a little bit more. So simply placing a few pieces of parsley on top of each other, lying them flat, sliding the knife back, and there we go. See that cut? That's called a julienne. So julienne parsley right there. There we are. Just slide that knife back. Make sure it's really sharp and be careful with your fingers. There we go. And then we can just chop up some shallots. Just cut it and slice away. Chop, 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 chop. There we are. Fingers back once again, everybody. Now in the meantime, let's have a hot pot of boiling water going and salt it pretty well. Now we're going to add our Brussels sprouts. There we are. And we're going to let this cook for two minutes. Two minutes is a perfect time to allow your Brussels sprouts to cook. It's going to allow them to be tender on the outside and still have a little crunch left in them. Now the only thing we're going to have to do is strain them off. There we go. Just set them aside now. Let them hang out for a little bit. Now we're going to start cooking our bacon. So we're going to put this in a medium heat pan and just keep on cooking until it gets nice and crispy. Everybody knows how long it takes to cook bacon, so it's going to take a little bit. Keep mixing. Let it cook. Oh man, it smells wonderful. Get it nice and crispy. Wow, that aroma is taking over the house right now. Oh, I love it. So now that our bacon is nice and crispy, the only thing we need to do is strain it off. There we go. All that flavor is still on the bottom of that pan as well. Wonderful. And you know, we're going to save some of that bacon fat and we're going to saute our Brussels sprouts in it. Just reserve a little bit of leftover. There we go. Nice, nice. Now with the pan back on the heat, medium to high heat this time turned up, add our Brussels sprouts into it. And with our shallots, there we go, make a little bit of space for them. And we could season right now at the very beginning with a little bit of salt and of course some freshly ground cracked black pepper. 
Now this is going to be a very quick cooking process and we could keep the heat on medium high right now. Let's just stir up the Brussels sprouts and shallots right here. Let them get nice and caramelized, all that flavor come on. Wow, this is adding up pretty well. There we go, nice. See the shallots are caramelizing? It's going to add so much flavor to this dish, guys. Keep on mixing. We don't want anything to burn. Now at this point we could add our bacon back into the pan and mix around a little bit, get that going just as well. There we are, lovely. Keep mixing. Now you see all that on the bottom of the pan? Well, that's flavor. So let's just hit it with a little bit of water and it's going to deglaze the pan. So all that flavor is going to come off. It's going to be all mixed in with our Brussels sprouts and bacon. All come together nice and happily. Let's just add our maple syrup now. And we're going to be finishing the dish up so we could add our Parmesan cheese followed by the thyme and parsley that we chopped up earlier and a little bit of some lemon juice. Lemon juice gives a really nice lift to the dish and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Now let's just toss some butter in, shut the heat off and give it a nice little mix. And this is going to create a really nice glaze and a richness of it. Nice balance as well. We got the bitterness of the Brussels sprouts, smokiness from the bacon, the lemon zest, sourness, the butterness, richness. Loving it. Alright guys, let's plate up. So grabbing our fun little plate, just spoon a little bit right here, just working our way across the plate from one side to the other. There we are, trying to build it up a little bit, get some length, and now we can start building a little bit of height in the dish as well. Here we are. Try to build it up. The first restaurant I worked at in Manhattan was known for the heights of the plates. They would just build things like little skyscrapers. Now we can toss some of our Parmesan cheese on it as well. Just a little bit more garnish. Why not, right? There we are. Some cheese everywhere. All over the plate. All over the plate. And of course a little bit more lemon juice just to give it that little additional lift to the dish. Sprinkle it everywhere. And of course we just have to toss a few more of our fresh picked parsley that we put on. There we are. Scatter this around. Let's get the plate all covered up with it now. There we go. Well folks, there you have it. I'm really excited to share with you my Brussels and bacon recipe. Perfect for the holiday season, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Here's a recipe as following and I'm really excited to hear all my feedback about how all your dishes turned out and if you did anything different to them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.